Burundi, but there's a, a, a video has emerged of the ruling party militia talking about impregnating the, all, the women of all people that don't uh, agree with the, the militia's uh, platform for, pro, for Pierre and Kurnziza. So given things that the UN has said in the past, what's the response to this and what is the UN doing currently in the last you know, two weeks or so uh, uh, on the situation in Burundi? Um, thank you for bringing this to our attention. We weren't aware of this video, um, and if true, that's very highly troubling. And we have, as you know, a team on the ground and that I'm sure is looking into this, and um, hopefully we'll take some action. And can I also, also I, I, wanted, I tried yesterday at the Unmasked uh, press conference to ask this question. There, there was a conference held in fr uh, Friday in Rome between the Italian Interior Ministry and, and it was what was described as tribes from Libya, particularly from the parts not controlled by the UN recognized government, and at least some press accounts say that Italy has agreed to provide weapons to the tribes, basically to stop immigrant migrants or refugees from coming to their tr soil. So I, what I wondered is, what's the UN's involvement in this? One, what do they think of a country arming tribes, if that's what took place? And in any event, what is the UN, either Mr. Cobbler or, or, or anyone else in the UN system, UNHCR, are they involved in any way in this Italian uh, uh, interchange with Libyan tribes? I mean, as you know, the UN is not a military force or has no military force in mm -hmm. Libya, but I'm sure that the Italians are in touch with our team on the ground. We'll check with them uh, what they think about this development. Right, but I guess, uh, well, okay, yeah. check, check. And I wanted to, I've, I've asked this before, but I wanted, maybe you'll, I, I don't know if you'll do it from here, but if you could, the, the, there's, the, you know, there are issues in Cameroon. There are a number of issues with the Anglophone areas, but there's one in particular, which is now an 80-day cutoff of the Internet to two regions of the country. So in the, in the answers that have been provided about what Law and Sunny Fall is doing, there's no reference to this pretty open and shut issue. Is there some way that you can either ask DPA or his office, to, like, what's being done on this? Does the UN, has the UN in any way conveyed to the government of Cameroon that whatever the other issues are, that turning off the Internet to whole regions of the country is not a good idea? We've heard your question, and if we have anything to add further, we'll let you know.